you've got a wig on, hold on to it because it's about to be wet. I think you know what's coming. CS5 is here. Thank you. We're going to have what I think is a good look at one of the best new features of Photoshop CS5 and we're going to create some complex selections even dealing with hair, etching out hair and even fixing up any contaminated colours around the edges of a selection. I think it's a good look at it. I hope you enjoy this very first Creative Suite CS5 TV. Enjoy. As we all know, Photoshop CS5 is awesome. This is a great way to start off looking at, at CS5. We're going to create a complex selection. We're going to etch out around these two characters and put them on a new background. And the background's on another layer down the bottom here. So hopefully you can see that. Original on top, cityscape in the background. Step one, make a loose selection. So you can use, you know, the lasso tool or the cowboy tool, some of us call it. Um, you could use the, the old uh, tragic wand if you wanted to use that. Um, good luck to you, but, you know, not all that great. I'm going to use the quick selection tool. Quick selection tool, great way to get started. And I'm just going to go ahead and paint over our two models here. So just a real quick little paint. Round we go, getting as close to the edge as possible while not going over it. And again, over on our second model over here, uh, and we'll just etch around him. It's one of those things that is probably a very commonly asked thing, isn't it? How can you etch this person out? How can you make sure that you get a good result around the edges, particularly where there's hair involved? Okay, so what do we do? Step, make the selection. When you have a selection active, then you'll notice um, you've got your selection tool there. You'll notice right at the top, there is a new button there called Refine Edge in CS5. This is the one-stop shop for everything of cutting out. Okay, so we're going to have a good look at this. First of all, the view modes. We have different view modes at the top. You can view it as marching ants. Well, it's a standard way as a red overlay. Uh, on a black background, on a white background, just as a black and white mask, on layers where we reveal the underneath layer or reveal the current layer. So these are all in there. Obviously, people like to work different ways. If you're putting your image onto a light background, choose the on white. If you're going onto an on black background, obviously choose that. For this um, instance, we're going to choose black and white because it's the most revealing. We see what's going on. The next thing you'll notice is we have a, a, a radius here. So the radius, as we increase the radius, will allow Photoshop to look a little bit further along one of these lines here, uh, along the edge of your selection rather, and then try and pick the radius for us. So that's probably way too much. Let's go for... No, that's kind of good. That's giving us a good, a good result. And it's actually picking out all of the individual hairs in there and we'll bring it up just a little bit more than you normally would the next thing that you'll notice is we're probably creeping in a little bit too far where my cursor is there let's turn on the smart radius if you turn on the smart radius then it'll go ahead and detect some of that stuff and say you know what we don't need that let's just go to the outside then of course we have the option of smoothing things out if we want to smooth it out that's probably not the best result in this case so we'll drag that back we can feather it, we can contrast it, we can shift the edge in a little bit so it bites into the image a little bit um, so that will, if we're showing a bit too much background, we can do that. That looks like a pretty good uh, selection so far. However, if we scroll down to our shoulder area, you'll see some of those adjustments aren't really working all that well on the edge. This edge probably needs to be a smoother edge. We don't really want the radius there. So... This is where we can go ahead and use the Erase uh, Refinements tool. Let me, let me zoom in and show you that. The Erase Refinements. Okay. So we'll drop back out of there. And then all we need to do is just paint along this edge and we're going to erase any refinements that have been done. And it will revert back 
to a much smoother edge. So we can work backwards and forwards using the refine radius tool and the erase refinements. So we can do a little tiny little brush there and then we can paint along and then we can use the, the um, uh, radius with the smart radius selectively when we want to. So it's a great way of working backwards and forwards and we can clean that up and that just takes us back to where we are we were. So a little bit of time and effort, you can get a really great looking result. So let's not bother doing the whole thing. Let's just do that. The other really great thing about these selections is we can output it in a number of different ways. We can output it to a layer mask, a new layer, a new layer with a layer mask, even a new document and a new document with a layer mask. So that's everyone covered there. There couldn't possibly be another scenario that you'd want other than them. We're just going to say new layer with a layer mask. There's even a remember settings button there. Press OK and there we have it. Our layers panel, um, we've got the original underneath. We've got the original copy with the layer mask all masking out. If we need to do any more work on it, we can, revealing the layer underneath. That's pretty cool. There is one last thing, though. If we zip over here where we've got a, a green screened um, samurai warrior, we can load up a selection. So I've already just made a loose uh, selection around our character here because I just wanted to save a bit of time. We're going to go to refine edge, okay? And we're going to increase the radius there. And we're going to view this against, let's say, a black background. Let's zoom in a bit here in the background. We're against the black background. Now, you can see that there is a little bit of green around this edge. You can see it right there. And the great thing is we have a decontaminate colors option as well. It's one that we haven't looked at. Let's turn it on. Now, you'll notice instantly that green diminishes. And we can increase the amount that gets decontaminated, and we're desaturating that green color away. And if we turn off the top, I turn it off, very green. Turn it back off again. I turn it back on again, rather, and the green is gone. Um, it's a great option if you're working with a model that's against a different background. It doesn't need to be green; it could be any color. And you can decontaminate those edges to get a really much smoother looking edge. It's a great result. It's the new complex selections and refine edge panel in Photoshop CS5. Welcome to CS5, everyone. Welcome aboard. We've got a great release, and I'm looking forward to doing a whole bunch of new tutorials for you. Yeah.